the topic for this video is arithmetic logic shift unit as you can see the diagram basically this is a combinational circuit which performs all the three arithmetic logic shift micro operations there is an arithmetic circuit a logic circuit a multiplexer now there are two inputs ai and bi which are sent as input to both arithmetic circuit and the logic circuit okay there are two select lines s0 and s1 which are used to basically select which one of them will work arithmetic or the logic circuit then we have a 4 cross 1 multiplexer at the output end which uses the output between an arithmetic output and the logic output and which is done with the help of two select lines s3 and s2 they both are entering into the multiplexer now there are two more inputs to the multiplexer that is AI minus 1 and AI plus 1 to perform shift right and shift left micro operations respectively. Also the output carry CI plus 1 of this arithmetic stage must be connected to the input carry of like CI of the next stage. So this is basically only for the arithmetic operations. Now as you can see here this is function table for the arithmetic logic shift unit now what we are doing here is just have a look at this table because s0 and s1 are deciding if it has to be arithmetic circuit or the logic circuit in that case for all the cases till here you can see the carry input is either 0 and 1 like for both the case for this case 0 0 the carry input can be either 0 or 1 so it is going as follows and these all operations the first eight operations are the arithmetic operations now next four operations are the logic micro operations which do not need a carry therefore the carry input is don't care and next four are the logic micro operations till here and at the end because we don't need to select lines S0 or S1, neither the carry input, the input for shift right and shift left are directly entered into the multiplexer. Therefore, in that case, 1, 0 and 1, 1. That is the select line S3 and S2's value. See, S3 and S2 can be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, for the 0, 0 value, it was arithmetic circuit. For 0, 1, it was logic. For 1, 0, it is shift right. And for 1, 1, it is shift left. Just to repeat again, S3 and S2 is deciding whether it has to be arithmetic, logic or shift micro operation. Therefore, it can be either 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0 for arithmetic, 0, 1 for logic, 1, 0 for shift right, 1, 1 for shift left. So, first 8 operations depending on the carry value are arithmetic values. Next, 4 where carry is not needed. So, it is don't care. It is logic micro operations and next 2 are the shift. And thus, this is a combinational circuit getting all the results in one circuit. Thank you.